Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to change text inside of an element using jQuery. Uh, using jQuery you can change the text between the, t the start and the end tags of an element. You can even change HTML markup. jQuery has a function called .html that lets you add HTML tags and text within an element. Any content previously within the element will be completely replaced with the content you provide using this function. Here's how you would rewrite and emphasize the text of our heading. So if we were to rewrite H3, we would change the HTML of H3 to be emphasized jQuery Playground. So whereas, there, whereas right now it's not emphasized or italicized, um, we're going to change it like that jQuery also has a similar function called dot text that allows you to alter the text without adding tags. In the other words, this function will not evaluate any HTML tags passed to it, but it will instead treat it as text you want to replace the existing content with. So if this said uh, dot text, well, let's just throw it in there. If we were to do it here, um, I'm just going to extend this so it looks better. Uh, you'll see that it's emphasize now. Um, now what's going to happen if we throw text in here? Well, these little brackets with EM are probably going to show up. So that's what that's saying. So if you throw in text or you can throw in HTML, it's up to you. Um, uh, changing the button, uh, change the button with the ID target for, let's get rid of this, uh, by emphasizing its text. Okay, cool. So we can go uh, change the with the button with target four, so the ID is uh, target four, and we want to emphasize. So we we're going to go dot HTML, and then we're going to in here add HTML. So emphasize, and this closing tag, and then inside of here we're just going to write jQuery uh, Playground, and we want to add a semicolon to the end. And so now the button with tag four has now has emphasized jQuery playground in there. I don't think that's actually what we wanted to add in there. Uh, widely accept. You should emphasize the text in your target four. Oh, the it should have the text of target four in there. Um, so it's actually uh, pound target four. And I think that that will actually pass. You should select the button with target four. You should be using HTML and not text. We don't want to use text because then if we threw text in here, we would have uh, the, with the EM right there, right? So we want to make it HTML. And your text should otherwise remain unchanged. So I think if you had something like that, like uh, hello or uh, jQuery Playground, uh, if you ran the test, it wouldn't pass. So one of the things it's saying is that you need to keep target uh, four in here, which is sort of funny and annoying. But um, yeah, I uh, hope that helps. Yeah, this is uh, this is super useful stuff. I mean, using HTML to inject uh, stuff into there, that's, that's stuff that you'll actually use in production for sure. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.